Right, we're at Heathrow. We're about to board our flight to Dallas. Um, we're heading over to Dallas for Major League Cricket's first ever draft, um, and it's taking place at NASA. So they are launching Major League Cricket at NASA, which is a bit insane. Um, neither of us have been to America before. It's our first time going over there. Not only are we going to go to the draft, we're also going to see uh, the new stadium um, that's being built over there for Major League Cricket. And we're going to go do a gym session, I think, with Liam Plunkett and Corey Anderson, um, amongst a whole load of other things. So I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and enjoy our first experience of cricket in America. We've made it to Dallas. We're here. Um, really excited, actually. It's been a long old journey, so feeling slightly delirious. Weird time zone as well, it feels like midnight at home, but it's evening here, so just getting used to that. But yeah, really excited for the next few days to see what Major League Cricket is, is all about. We're just about to head off to the stadium. We're just grabbing some breakfast, just waiting for Toby now. Um, but I'm just reading up about the stadium. It seems really cool. The fact that they're turning a baseball stadium into a cricket stadium is cool, full stop. But just been reading up about it. Um, training nets, batting lanes, additional outside turfs, and like fully enhanced for broadcast. It's just exactly what it needs. It sounds like it's gonna be the ultimate like cricket facility for the US, and it's exactly what it needs right now to kick off Major League Cricket in style. I'm intrigued, it's, it's, it's March right now, but the competition doesn't start till July, so I don't know how far they've got through the process, but it's gonna be interesting nonetheless. Right, day one, big day, calls for a big breakfast. So I've got my Fruit Loops, and my waffles, and my coffee. Very American, very excited for today. First time in the US, same for Jack. Absolutely buzzing. Hello, come lads, how are we? Hello. Hello. Right, it's a building site, so jackets on, hard hats on. We're ready. So welcome to Dallas in the USA, transferring a baseball stadium into a cricket stadium. Show you guys around. Welcome. So you can kind of still see the shape of the baseball pitch of what it was before, um, but they're actually using it really cleverly. So they're adapting this little bit here where the batters, I don't know what it's called in baseball, but where the batters hit from. Um, they're using that for seating and using that for food trucks. So it's a really nice way of utilizing the space. And then the oval is now underway and I'm stood kind of at the executive suite level. And it will be a great view with a bit of grass. It's gonna look great. Yeah, this is wicked. Um, massive thanks to Dave, the groundsman here. Um, he's doing an incredible job with his team and it's just amazing to see this ground being transformed from yeah, a baseball stadium to a cricket stadium. I think it's going to be really cool. We've just been chatting about how yeah, the levels of the stands are going to be perfect for watching cricket and fingers crossed they get a T20 World Cup game here next year. Hopefully we can come out for it because this would just be the dream place to watch a game of cricket. It was then time to head south from Dallas to Houston, ready for the draft tomorrow. But we stopped for a quick game of backyard cricket along the way. Uh, we're here in Houston. Uh, we're at the British Consul. And we're going to go play some wiffle ball, which I think is a mixture of cricket and baseball. Um, but wicked to be here. Corey Anderson's here. And so is Liam Plunkett, along with a few other, other VIPs. So yeah, going to go play some wiffle ball, see how it goes. How's it going guys? We're in a gym in Houston with Leading Edge Performance. They're going to put us through our paces for a pre-season training session. Very, very nervous. <laughs> I've been running for pre-season, not in the gym with 
a World Cup winner. So going to be really put through the paces here. Uh, yeah, a bit nervous. <laughs> Savage, but really good. Massive thanks to Liam and Ollie. Leading edge performance. Check it out in the link below. Right, we're at Space Centre, Houston, Texas, for Major League Cricket's first ever player draft. Absolutely buzzing. Feels quite surreal to be here, but so excited. just met Matthew at the door. Matthew has travelled from Utah to come to the Major League Cricket Draft. Matthew, what are you up to? Yeah, well, look, I must say I've been a fan of, of cricket and the U.S. national team for quite a while now. So uh, when I heard that there was going to be the draft here at the Houston Space Center of all places, I really couldn't uh, resist the opportunity to catch a flight down here to Houston, Texas. Fantastic. And you're a big cricket fan? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm originally here from, from the United States, but I lived in South Africa for about 10 years and it was in school there and a couple of my closest mates really encouraged me to like get into cricket and I had no idea what I was doing at the time but kind of from there from you know the sense of camaraderie that we had I really just fell in love with it and I started following the South African team and then I realized that the US had had a flourishing national team and uh, I was hooked from there. How excited are you for Major League Cricket? Yeah it is it is very excited um, I think you know we've been working on this for quite some time and you know finally the days arrived so I think more than us, I think, you know, it's great for U.S. cricket, um, uh, for the boys who've been, you know, working so hard for the last few years, a lot of good talent, and then, uh, yeah, for us to have a team here um, with our global presence, it's, it's fantastic and, and very excited to, you know, be part of a draft, you know, something different for us, we're usually involved in auctions, but yeah. Right, about 10 minutes away from the start of the draft now, it's so amazing to see it all come together, teams from, like, the IPL teams that are getting behind it with Mumbai, KKR, Delhi Capitals and Chennai, as well as two Australian teams. It just makes for a great like event. It's so excited for it to get started. Oh. And the food is banging and too. And the food is good as well. <laughs> right, let's get the draft underway. signing for Seattle Hawkers is Mitch Marsh. Go Hawkers, go! Corey, congratulations. Picked up in the draft for San Francisco. Uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, pretty uh, pretty excited. Uh, obviously a little bit nerve-wracking sitting there yeah. watching an old player. I've, I've done this in the past, but it's it never gets old when you get in a situation like this. So yeah, I'm super excited. 100%. It's pretty cool. I don't recall a cricket tournament having players like go up, get a cap, like a proper live draft. Is that something new for you as well? That definitely is. Um, I know you're normally sitting at home watching on a computer or TV or something. This kind of, I guess, Americanizes it as well. So again, it's such a cool concept. To be here actually watching it all play out, yeah, it makes it makes it pretty cool. Awesome. Well, congrats Thanks, and mate. good luck. Appreciate it. Thanks very much. Seattle Orcas, are you happy with the inaugural Major League Cricket Draft? Absolutely, absolutely. It was, it was great, it was great to be a part of it. I think we got what we wanted. I mean, I think we got two great internationals, um, you know, Mitch Marsh and uh, Quinton Decock, and then, of course, Harmeet, our first pick. I mean, that's great, that was sweet. Overall, Major League Cricket in general, is there anything you're most excited about in terms of just, yeah, cricket in the US? Yeah, we're just being here for a start. Um, to start something new is, is really positive. There's been so many rumors for so long about opportunities in, in America. To finally be here and, and have something getting underway is, is really exciting. But yeah, just hopefully that the, the magic that cricket brings around the world, 
gets a taste of it here and takes off. The first test match was in America, I think back in the 1840s, 1847, so it's a bit good history here. That's a wrap on Major League Cricket's inaugural draft. Um, incredible evening. I'm completely shattered, but that was an awesome experience. Yeah, knackered, but very impressed at mm. the, everything from the production side of things, the players, some of the overseas that we've, we've heard about. It's, yeah, it's amazing. It's really, really professional, mm. really nicely done. Yeah, excited. Yeah, I mean, a couple of things that are clear to me. Number one is how hard some people have worked to make this happen. Um, behind the scenes at Major League Cricket, you've got an amazing team who have worked incredibly hard to, to make this event happen and Major League Cricket to be a, um, a success, hopefully. And then secondly, the, the pride of some of these players who have just been picked. Yeah. Um, again, they've worked really hard. They've worked up you know, through the ranks of minor league cricket and now to Major League Cricket and then to, to play in a franchise like Mumbai or yeah. Delhi Capitals, you know, the, the, these, these teams who've partnered with these, these massive global franchises. Um, yeah, it was just really cool to see how proud they are to, to be a part of it. Absolutely. I love how they've been here and been able to like mm. cheer and get up, receive their cap on the stage and also meet the teams that have just picked them as well. It's yeah. really like a new experience for cricket, I think. And yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, so an amazing evening here at Major League Cricket's draft. Um, massive thanks to the team at Major League Cricket for inviting us down. Absolutely. Um, yeah, an awesome experience. Last day tomorrow, we fly home in the afternoon. Yeah, fly home in the afternoon, got a morning free. Going to try and hit the batting cages. Let's do it. Right, it wouldn't be a trip to the United States of America if we didn't try out baseball. We're here with Nate, cricket badger, baseball aficionado. He's going to teach us a bit about baseball. I'm going to give it a go. All right, this is going to be fun. Let's do it. What's your Jack's technique? Oh, he's doing really good. He's hitting it right in the middle of the bat most of the time. In baseball, you're going to have more, a little bit less perfect contact because it's a rounded bat and a rounded ball. So you'll foul them off, you know, but he's, he's middling it pretty well. What a way to end the vlog. It's been so cool to try out a bit of baseball. Uh, thanks to MLC for everything. It's been such a great time this whole three days. It's been amazing. Thanks for watching. See you soon.